Ladies, Leon Trotsky here bringing you some more Battlefield 3 gameplay, and today we're playing on an interesting map. This is the Canals map, and we're playing console first of all. I know Jets, they get, or sorry, PC, they get Jets on this map, which uh, to me, a little too much, because I think this map's a little too small. And I, I think my main issue is I'm not quite sure if it's balanced or not. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you think this map is balanced. Um, on Rush, I think it's definitely not balanced because the defenders get that AA tank, which is completely overpowered, but that's just my little opinion on it. Um, but I really think that the people that start on the boat have a disadvantage on Conquest because, well, first of all, they don't get a heavy tank. They do get the two helicopters, but those two heavy tanks uh, that the guys that start on the island get can be very popular. However, here you see me starting off the island on the boats and I just mash with this light tank. And if you know what, if you know how to use this light tank and you actually have a team that is able to repair you and stuff and you have those anti-tank rockets unlocked, this thing can do beast work against any heavy tank. So definitely something to take a note. But the big problem, and you know, and one of the things that leads to this map being unbalanced is you gotta get the light tank there. And it takes almost a minute to get that light tank there, whereas, you know, they got two heavy tanks rolling out of the back. So basic setup uh, for this map for consoles, obviously, is you basically got the three flag set up and you got a tank route that you can take pretty much all the way around the outside, which you assume you drive around pretty much this entire game in which, you know, you'd pretty much go A, B, C all the way around the outside. You just want to stay around the outside. Infantry kind of sticks in the middle. And that's just kind of how it works. And here you're going to see me mashing in the tanks. And I got somebody backing me up and repairing me when I need it. Uh, and I think I pretty much just go on like a 9 or 10 kill streak, capping flags in the tanks, getting ace pin. You know how we do. Uh, but let's see here. Some strategies for this game. Obviously, when you start off the island, you got your two little birds that you want to get up. Hopefully, with good pilots that are able to shoot down the tanks, because those little birds, the the guns on that on those little birds can do damage to the tanks and quite a bit of damage at that. So it's something to take advantage of. And if you get this light tank in there that's able to hold down the the tanks and move around and cap flags, and then you got your Amtrak in there, uh, you know, as a mobile spawn point. It can provide very, uh, some good, you know, some good stuff, and you also have A and B uh, pretty close to you, uh, a little closer than obviously Charlie. You know, Charlie's the the people on the island is a little bit closer to them. However, I think the people on the island have the advantage. You get the two heavy tanks, and if people know how to run those heavy tanks, and you get anybody running Strellas or even one good guy, uh, guy in the little mini chopper that can take out the other two choppers, you're going to dominate because those two heavy tanks, if they know how to, if somebody knows how to drive them their beast against this light tank you just got to have somebody supporting you just as any any other tank you know this game's all about teamwork so um but with those heavy tanks if you do start on the island uh something that i've started using a lot is uh one of the upgrades the first first upgrade for the heavy tank you can put on a heavy machine gun as opposed to the coaxial light machine gun that's great against uh, infantry but the heavy machine gun fucking drops choppers uh i mean you obviously got to shoot them and keep it on target for a little bit but i was thoroughly surprised at um the amount of damage it does to choppers and how quickly it can put them down uh, it fires very slow it's a very slow rate of fire but the heavy machine gun it actually does great work against anti-air tanks you know it, okay maybe it's not amazing work but it does you know scare off any choppers that are coming in towards you so definitely a thing to look for yeah, maybe not even on this map but all the heavy mgs or all the heavy tanks they have the heavy mg upgrade which is a great upgrade until you unlock some maybe something more like the guided shells or something like that. So, you know, here you see me once again, you just having those engineers. I was running with a pretty full squad here, um, and we were just, you know, communicating, working as a team, keeping the tank up. Because once this light tank does go down, you're going to be at a disadvantage taking an extra minute getting another light tank up here. I, I'm pretty sure they only get one light tank uh, from the boat side, and it... It takes some time, and you really only have three, three maybe four entryways to get the tank up here. Um, so you really got to pay attention of which way you're going. You know what's being capped and whatnot and whatnot. But the light tanks, I personally, I, I don't know. I, I like them for maps like this, but in reality, those heavy tanks are just so beast, and they have so many possible upgrades. Um, with the guided shells and the shotgun shells and all the different, you know, camo and armor and this and that. It, I, I the heavy tanks are amazing, and once you start unload I, that's something that i've started realizing in this game is the more you unlock and the more everybody unlocks and has you know you have a squad communicating with full unlocks this game becomes crazy with the amount of balance it has with all the tanks that you can use to support each other i mean one tank could pretty much dominate an entire uh game if it was properly supported 
Um, you know, you could take down pretty much any chopper, uh, <laughs> any other tank, you know, with your guided shells. You could lock on with so flam and get somebody out there with a javelin dropping people. And one, you know, one squad can begin to, you know, really dominate a game like this. And that's something that carries over a little bit more for console than PC because obviously we have less people on the console. Uh, for PC, it's a little bit tougher to for one squad in uh, the 32 on 32 game to really control and dominate the game. However, you know, with a squad, if, if one squad has all full upgrades of, you know, say all their vehicle upgrades and another squad doesn't have any vehicle upgrades, uh, that one squad is going to thoroughly dominate any other squad that doesn't have the proper upgrades. So here, you know, it's also uh, one quick note with the light tank is really being able to pick your shot and pick your engagement. Um, you see me here kind of trying to take a little cover so that that heavy tank doesn't know exactly where I am. And it's really balancing, you know, getting that quick anti-tank shot in, making sure you hit, and then pop, 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 get those six shots in, reload, switch to your anti-tank shot, get it in again, pop, 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 and you usually you get two rounds of those anti-tank and then your six shots, tank will go down. Obviously, they're going to be blasting at you with a heavy tank gun, and eventually I do go down in this towards the end, but, you know, it, it, is, it is what it is. Um, this map, you guys, like I said, I haven't decided. I like this map. It's fun, but it doesn't feel balanced, and I feel like that's some of the issues I have with some of the maps. This is the one I'm kind of up in the air with. You know, my I've, I've kind of made this map rating system for myself. Um, obviously, um, my favorite maps are the big jet ones. So, you know, you got Karg Island, Operation Firestorm, and Caspian Border. Those are my favorite Conquest uh, maps. Um, I also really like Sign Crossing and Davman Peak. Those are also pretty uh, pretty good stuff. Um, two of the ones that I'm not too hip on. So, the, let's see. Let's, that's five of them. So, we got four more. So, there's also um, this one. Uh, this one in Grand Bazaar, I'm, you know, if and or for it, I haven't decided if I like them or don't like them because of balancing and choke point issues and stuff like that. Obviously, Grand Bazaar is a lot more choke pointy than this one. Operation Metro's bottom of the barrel for me. Some people still love that map, and, you know, I've, I've learned to play it a little bit more, I suppose, on, um, on Conquest. Not necessarily like playing it, but I actually have learned to play it and play it strategically on Conquest. Um, but that's definitely still bottom of the barrel for me. I'm trying, and there's probably one that I'm missing that I can't think of. And obviously, you know, it's probably right down there by Operation Metro if I can't think of the name of it. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what is your guys' favorite maps. Yeah, obviously, a, a lot of people seem to really like the jet maps. Um, but if you have one uh, different than the jet maps, you know, let me know if there's one the reason you like it or something like that. Let me know what your favorite map is and why. And then the other question for you is, do you think this map is balanced? And what do you think they could do to change it? Because personally, I, I think it's pretty close to being balanced, but I don't like having different starting vehicles on opposite sides. I don't like having two tanks as opposed to two choppers. I, I, I think it, you know, just creates for... You know, they're not completely unbalanced, but I think it creates for a circumstance that is a little less unbalanced than other maps that have completely balanced sets. And that's one of the problems that I have with Rush nowadays is not getting like a chopper to take on a chopper type of stuff. So let me know what your comments or thoughts on you know balancing and stuff like that. If you think this map balanced, do you think some? I've heard some people say that they think that this map should have uh, jets on consoles, which I think is fucking crazy. But you know, teach his own. I I love jets, so it would be fun, but. Let me know what you think in the comments below as this is winding down. I didn't. I I, I kind of cut it off. Obviously, obviously you can see we're winning, and I, I you know I die towards the end here from some heavy tank that just sneaks up on me, and you know it is what it was. Uh, I, I enjoyed this game though. I enjoyed fucking mashing in the light tank and just not dying at all. So. Uh, keeping it real, ladies, till next time. We got a few, uh, other videos I'm gonna put out soon. Uh, definitely check them out. A couple little highlight videos, stuff like that. Some quick clips and stuff. And, uh, let me know. Any of you guys getting Skyrim? I'm picking that up. And I want to know if any of you guys are getting it. And would you be interested in seeing any videos? I'm not quite too sure if I'm gonna be making any videos for Skyrim. But let me know in the comments below. Uh, till next time, ladies, you know how we do. I'll let you watch this video. And, uh, we'll see you soon, ladies. Keep it real.